If you're after a brand new phone, chances are you're probably going to be looking at both the iPhone 7 and the brand new Samsung Galaxy S8. They're going to be two of the biggest phones of the year, and they both have a lot going for them. If it's all about design and looks, the Galaxy S8 is the clear winner. While I like the matte black iPhone 7, that stunning ultra-wide Quad HD Plus display and narrow bezel on the new S8 make it one of the most exciting phones to look at. Both the back and front slope and almost melt into each other. It's really stunning. The S8 is the bigger phone, but because of that thin bezel, it's far from huge. It's taller and heavier than the iPhone 7, but you're getting a 5.8 inch screen rather than a dinky 4.7 inch one. The S8 screen isn't just bigger, but it's better too. The slightly above 720p resolution on the iPhone 7 is fine, and the wide colour gamut is great, but the S8 has a stunning HDR enabled AMOLED panel. Both have deep blacks and rich colours, but that extra resolution makes a big difference when you're watching movies and playing games. Samsung hasn't altered much in the camera, in the jump from the S7 to the S8, and I can't say for sure yet whether it will beat the iPhone. Both have 12 megapixel sensors, but the slightly wider f1.7 aperture could give the S8 the edge in low light. Both have OIS, 4K video recording and 8 megapixel selfie shooters. I was disappointed with the battery on the iPhone 7, and it struggles to make it through the day without a top up. I haven't had enough time to properly test the S8 stamina yet, but I doubt it will be a phone that will go multiple days. The 3000 mAh cell is bigger than the iPhone's, but it's got that huge high resolution display to keep powered. Thankfully the S8 has both fast and wireless charging, two features missing from the iPhone. Both of these phones are powerful, with top of the line chips keeping them going. Samsung has chosen either an Exynos 8895 or Snapdragon 835 depending on region, while the iPhone uses Apple's own A10 Fusion chip. The S8 has more RAM, 4GB as opposed to 2GB, and the storage starts at 64GB, not 32 But comparing specs between an iPhone and an Android phone doesn't give you a proper idea of performance, so we'll wait and see how the S8 performs when it's launched later in April. I'm not going to debate whether iOS is better than Android or vice versa, but both the S8 and the iPhone 7 have some nifty software tricks. The iPhone has its Siri voice assistant, while Samsung's new Bixby 8 offers a bit more functionality, like being built into the camera for product searching, but it won't come with British language support at launch. Both UIs are responsive and good looking, though with iOS you're guaranteed to get those software updates faster. The S8 has a few more bonus tricks, like support for the new Gear VR headset, decks for giving you a mini PC-like experience, and live streaming from the 4K Gear 360. I'm really excited about the S8, and we'll have a full review and a more in-depth comparison with the iPhone 7 closer to launch on April the 28th. Stay tuned to trust your reviews for everything you need to know about the Samsung Galaxy S8.